Hello and welcome to my new video. My name is Thorsten aka Kaffee. The last year I spent much time with my RC Explorer style tricopter. I had it with me on Crete in Greece, where I did some very nice aerial videos. Back then in May 2040 my tricopter had some details that I changed later to get better handling or recording results. One of the problems was an occasional jello effect in the recordings. Back at home I spent some thoughts about how to change that and some other details. One of them is the way the battery and camera bay is mounted. I found a different way with silicon tubing and I found it worked very well right from the start. Later that year I had the tricopter with me at the Chiemsee area in Germany. And I had no problems with vibrations in the video at all. By the time there were some other small changes I'd like to do to the frame. This winter I wanted to put all those experiences together and build a new tricopter that has the new and old ideas included right from the start. Now it's finished. May I introduce? This is Edward II. The arms are made from pine wood again. This time I chose 12 mm instead of 13 to make it lighter. I also decided to give it less wingspan. The arms are each 43 cm now. The older one had 45 cm arms. I might cut that further to 40 cm, but I have not decided yet. Against the usual trend to use carbon, I chose some good quality glass fiber for the center plates and the landing gear. Those parts have been designed on a computer with the help of my friend Chris. They have been milled on a machine by another friend from my local RC Flying Club. Last time I used 1.5 mm material, this time just 1 mm to save some weight. It should do alright, the one I had before felt a bit massive to me. I am very happy with the outcome, the parts are very well done. You can see the camera and battery bay which is made from plywood and Depron. It's very lightweight but still somewhat protects the battery in case of crashes on hard underground. Holes on the top and in front provide good air cooling. The platform in the front leaves enough space for different mounting ideas. The silicon tubing and the way it is mounted provide very good protection against vibrations. The mounting angle of the tube lets you easily change the tension by making it longer or shorter. With that you also change the frequency on which it reacts on vibrations. You can kind of tune it to your motor speed and layout. The tubing also dampens the impact on important parts in case of a crash. Silicon tube is very durable. The rear mechanics have some simple and classic layout. I did not like the idea of the servo being mounted directly to the axis. There was no way to protect the gears from hard impacts in a crash. So I choose to connect the servo with the ball connector that is mounted with a 2mm nylon screw. The idea is, the screw will tear apart and protect the servo in case of a crash. First I had some doubts it would last during normal use, but I flew this way for nearly one year and even in lighter incidents that I had. The connection did not break apart, so I kept this as a good idea. The lower part of the mechanics is from Hobby King. 
It's a front gear part for planes like David Winterstahl used earlier. The upper part is now a printed one which is done with the help of Chris. My older tricopter used two parts from Hobby King which had a smaller surface for the motor. The lever is a part that is milled from the same glass fiber than the other part. The older one was handmade but worked the same. Everything, including the servo and the motors, is mounted the way Matt Hall from Simple Copters showed in his videos. The parts are mounted with some soft double-sided tape and then fixed with zip ties. This works very well and protects the parts in a crash. Naturally, the most important uh, person on this first flight is my trusty test pilot. The whole construction is easy to repair, easy to upgrade or change and by its foldable arms easy to transport. It flies very well and is a good platform for FPV. I hope this year I can do some great recordings with it. Have fun, fly safe and have a nice day with greetings from Germany.